I'm Chris McLean. I'm the surveyor for the Commonwealth War Graves Commission. Uh, I work for Consultancy Services, which is the department that looks after the, uh, a, a large part of that is looking after the headstone production unit, uh, replacing headstones and uh, memorial panels for the 1.7 million casualties we have around the world. We have over 23,000 sites around the world. Uh, of those, uh, approximately 2,500 of those are constructed war cemeteries where we would have a cross of sacrifice, we'd have a stone of remembrance, we'd have the headstones, we'd have walls, uh, entrance features. We've also got the memor various memorials scattered around the world, uh, which of the 1.7 million casualties, 600,000 of those are commemorated on memorials. A headstone production unit has been based in Bahrain, which is just outside of Arras. It was located here because most of the casualties were, died in the, in the Somme and in, uh, in northern Belgium, uh, which is the reason why they located the headstone production unit here. Alpha Cam uh, helps us set out the headstones and ensure that we take a little of the, a lot of the human error out of the production process. So it's more of an automated process, less prone for human error. Uh, worldwide, we have over 1,200 employees. A majority of those are horticultural staff, which look after the, the gardening, which is a, a large part of the organization. Um, and in head office, we have over 100 employees. For producing headstones, we, we would purchase 40 different headstone types, approximately, and a similar number of stone types itself. So we have different shapes of headstones and different stone types, which would go into various cemeteries around the world. My name is Matthew Wolsey. I'm the Drawing Office Supervisor at the Commonwealth War Graves Commission, and I look after the Drawing Office and it's day to day running. We currently have five uh, engraving machines in the uh, headstone production unit, uh, three Intimart and two scanned invent. With all five machines we operate the advanced and standard uh, AlphaCam stone. First came across AlphaCam about three years ago. Um, we were doing some work in India and I needed some advice on uh, CNCs, um, so contacted AlphaCam and they helped us out. The majority of the headstones I would say are Portland limestone, which originally came from the island of Portland and still does. Uh, we also have uh, headstones in different countries based on local stone availability. For example, in uh, Ireland we have Irish limestone, Scotland we have granite, Canada we have granite, South Africa granite, uh, and uh, Italian marble called Botticino limestone, which is used in the Mediterranean area and African and Indian countries. Cemeteries get inspected uh, and, and the guys out there are looking for uh, broken, damaged headstones. So they identify those and then create an order of headstones to be replaced. And that then goes to the records department who generate a text file of the order. AlphaCam then works with that text file um, the, and the macro. Um, it opens up all the data and there's a library of badges and layouts and it links it all together and, and then it creates a CNC file or an engraving file that then can be loaded onto the machines and it does it very quickly and efficiently. The date of death, the regimental name, the service number, uh, a religious emblem if it was requested by the family at the time and also a personal inscription if the family requested a personal inscription which would go at the base of the headstone. And the Commission uses two standard fonts, we call them World War I and World War II font. Uh, they were designed by McDonnell Gill. We, the macro, uses those fonts um, to create the engraving files so they can be engraved. Thousands of different combinations, other letters and numbers and special characters will link with each other in the spacing. Originally when we were creating the headstone layouts, the process was a lot longer and a lot more manual input, a lot more room for error, so there were quite a few errors that were coming through, but we, we don't have that problem with AlphaCam.